So you're thinking about moving to Raleigh, North Carolina? Well, stay tuned because in this video, we're gonna take you on a tour of a home that will put you just steps from the downtown of one of Raleigh's hottest suburbs, and we're getting after it next. Okay, we're here, and before we get started on the home tour, we just wanna remind you that the only thing we like more than making these videos for you, even in the rain, it's helping you make a smooth move to Raleigh. So give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Our information is in the description below. We'll help you make a smooth move to Raleigh. Now, Chris, I'm coming in through the back door. One, because it's raining, and two, because, hey, if you buy this house, this is how you're gonna come in. Right, so you get the real and true perspective, right? So just come in through the two-car garage. So these townhomes do have the two-car garage, which is always a plus. Sometimes with townhomes, you only see a one car. Yeah, I tell you, and location which we're going to go over yes as we walk around we're going to tell you even more about it i love it this is a very unique uh townhome in the fact that it has the three levels so we're actually here when you come in the garage in the first level which has a bedroom and, and, and a full bath perfect spot for an older like a teenage yes. kid a guest suite if you need an office you're separate from the living area completely so. separate so behind me you'll see we'll go ahead and show you the full bath so quartz countertop I like the black hardware, it always looks good. Uh, white exterior, always a fan of that. And so then you come in here into this first bedroom and again, you know, you're not skimping out on the size. No, nice size closet, good size bedrooms and you'll notice that throughout. Good yeah. size bedrooms, great quality too from one of our favorite builders, True Homes. Yes. And you know, they actually work with you and let you add some features that you want. It's not cookie cutter. Right. But if you want one of these quick move-ins, and I think all these are gonna be that way because there's only, I think, 16 of these. Yes. So you have to act fast. And again, we'll touch on it, but you can't beat the location of these. And again, True Homes, a lot of their standard are upgrades for other builders too. Yeah, now Chris, before we head upstairs, because we didn't come in the front yep. door, there is a feature that I wanted to show everybody. And that is, the uh, drop zone because right. you know we're huge fans of that because when you come in you can drop everything right there Don't, it doesn't clutter up the rest of that absolutely let's go show on the next level all right all right so then now we're coming up to the second level which is where the living room kitchen dining all of that is and you'll notice as i came up what did i come up on chris LVP steps. LVP steps, always a must have. You hear me talk about that every single t house tour we do. And the reason, in case you haven't watched our other videos, carpet on stairs, you gotta figure out some way to vacuum it, <laughs> but it just wears out really fast. It wears out really, really fast. So this, this floor plan is wide open in this space here. This is an extremely large centerpiece island. Uh, bar seating there as well. Nice kitchen behind. Uh, Quartz countertops, backsplash, it's just top notch. It is, you have electric appliances here, not gas. And one thing, we're big on pantries. You don't have a big walk-in pantry, but right over here, your cabinets have a built-in pantry. So you do have one. Absolutely. And then you'll, behind here is where you have your eat-in dining. So it's kind of open, but yet a little closed, if you will. Yeah, if you wanna have a formal dinner party, right. you can fix it up and you feel like you have a dining room, but it's not a wasted space like a dedicated dining room because it's kind of it rides the fence of eating kitchen yeah and dining room and it, and and a good size space here seating six uh you could probably even put a little bit bigger of a table in here to seat maybe I, eight i think so um and another thing too with this being the end unit a lot of the windows so you're going to see a lot of the windows i know on a rainy day but there's yeah, a lot even of on a dreary day it's bright, bright in here it's so. bright in here so then coming off of this is going to be a half bath so you got a half bath up here, pedestal for, for sink guests. for guests. Yeah. And then again, the open floor concept. And then this whole level uh, is LVP. So then you come into your living space here. Again, nice wide open area. Put your TV up there, but you're still able to be inclusive of people in the kitchen. That's right. Now, before we head upstairs and show you the master suite yep. and the other bedroom, uh, location we talked about it and you can kind of see you have this balcony area which is super cool you can sit out there yep. watch the traffic go by but chris we're walking distance and not far walking distance from downtown wendell wendell is one of the if not the hottest suburb of raleigh as far as growth goes yep. and there's so much to do down there 
there's so much to do and it's still growing as hard as that is believed that there's still more businesses coming in a new cool place that just opened up chris is tap it social house we went in there the other day it is and so it's pretty cool. cool i tell yep. you they have duck pin bowling yep. if uh it's a great place for adults in the evenings right they have food trucks that come in uh, they have special deals with the local breweries because hey Carolina Brewing is down there, yep. Bearded Bee is down there, and Tappet has special brews that are unique to them that you can get there at Tappet Social House. But you've got the duck pin bowling lanes, and you've got all the arcade games, yes. so you can win prizes with the tickets and the whole thing. At night, it's more for adults and a cool hangout, but I'm telling you, it's a great place to take your families. They open at 11 o'clock every day. Can't say enough. Super nice people. Super nice people. I'm like a little kid when I go back in there. There's a new term. I don't know if you've heard this, Chris, or everyone. It's called adulting. Kid adulting now. That's me. I, uh, I definitely check that box when it comes to arcades. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, my daughter Marley and I, anytime there's a day in Busters yeah. or anything like that, we go clean them out. Because if I've taught her nothing else, it's how to win at those arcade games. That's right. And I love this balcony. I just wanted to point that out again, just because you see that in large, like downtown city areas. The and Paris. hey, Wendell's growing. Wendell's growing. So let's go show them the living area. All right, so now we're coming up to the third floor. This is where the other secondary bedroom is gonna be as well as the primary suite. Uh, and you come up here and it's this little space. I mean, you can have a little seating area here. It's open. Yeah, I, mean, I think if you wanted uh, like a small entry table or some small desk right here, if you wanted a little homework area, you could do that. Right. And your laundry area is up here where your bedrooms are. Yeah, you got the laundry closet here to my right. And if we come straight across, it's gonna bring you into the other secondary bedroom. Again, large windows, a good size space. And each one of these um, bedrooms has its bathroom. So that's cool. Yeah. Let's check out. So right the, behind me. The ensuite of the of the secondary the bedroom. The ensuite of the secondary <laughs> bedroom. Right. And it's I mean, and this is not a extremely tiny bed bathroom no, either. And you got ceramic tile floors. Right. It, you know, it's not and like we said, True Homes does a great job with their fit and finish. Correct. Now up here with the bedrooms, you do have the carpet, so that's always nice, you know, in the bedrooms to have the carpet. Uh, now coming around, coming up this side to the primary suite, I really like this primary suite, Chris. I, it's it's a good size, nice closet. Absolutely. So I'm over here. I'm going to get in this yeah. corner, and this kind of gives you a general idea. Hopefully, it comes across on camera. We always try to get opposite <laughs> of each other in corners of rooms to give you some perspective right. of exactly how big it is. Let us know in the comments below if this helps you kind of. Yeah kind of see it we'll keep doing it but uh, we've had a few people that have reached out and said they like that so right. comment below if you do too they're trying to measure out in their head they're just the furniture fit while we're trying to measure the size of the room and again another cool feature with this this one being the end unit is the the light coming through the windows here yeah now that's a good opportunity for us to talk about cost Chris yeah uh, the end unit is going to cost more, but these units start at three fifty nine. They three fifty nine start at three fifty nine and go up to three seventy nine. And that's just the only difference is the end unit. Is right? the end unit, yeah. And th this one is nineteen hundred something square feet. And it's as you see it, as you with see the it. quartz, with the tile floors, right. like exactly how you see it. And another cool feature about this and the way that True Homes builds these, they live more like a single family home. I don't feel like this is a town home, like a single row style home. Well, they're a little wider than what they're you would typically wider. find. Right. And yeah. You... So we're gonna come in and, and I really like this um, primary bath too. The nice flame, frameless uh, shower with the black around it, the dual vanity sink. The built-in niches in the there for, niches, for the, for the shampoo and everything. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and I, and I mean this as a compliment. I say it. I've said this a few times before. It feels like a nicer hotel. Yeah. And I love staying in hotels, so it's <laughs> that's a compliment. That's not. I thought you were going to give me a compliment, Chris. Uh, you know me better than. <laughs> <laughs> but again, I love the spacious feel of this townhome. I tell you, let's check out this closet yep. too. I think it, closet space is always important. Yeah. There's actually shelves that go behind the door as well, but nice, it's pretty deep, nice large space yeah. here. Activities, right? Absolutely. Well, I'll tell you what, Chris, this is a great thing. If you want a, a downtown feel yep. without those downtown Raleigh prices, so you can walk to bars, you can walk to restaurants, there's ice cream shops, there's the general store, there's the bakery, so much to do. Such a cool little town. Still, you're 15 minutes, maybe 20, yep. from downtown Raleigh, 15 to 20 minutes from the North Hills area that has all the high-end shopping in Raleigh. But let's face it, how often do you go there? Only for special events, typically? Yeah. 
But I tell you what, spur of the moment, you can just jump in a golf cart because it's golf cart friendly here in Window. Run down, get ice cream, go play some games. Man, you can't beat it. Can't beat it. And especially, you save a couple hundred thousand dollars. Uh, and I said several, hundred thousand dollars. Several hundred thousand dollars. Right. <laughs> Three fifty nine. dollars Yes. Well, I'll tell you what. If this town home looks like something you're interested in or you have questions about any of the great suburbs in Raleigh or new construction in the Raleigh area, give us a call. Shoot us a text or send us an email and choose Crossroads Residential. Because we'll make it happen.